365 days, 365 messages God has in store for you in each day. Great is our God, written by Fernando Zavala. Come, join us. Let us see what God has in store for you today. Hello, friend. We're glad that you're here today, September 29, 2022. Today's devotional is titled, Builder of My Own Tower. Our scripture reading is found in the book of Genesis, chapter 11, verses 1, 2, and 4. And it says, Now the whole world had one language and a common speech. As people moved eastward, they found a plain in Shinar and settled there. They said to each other, Come, let us build ourselves a city with a tower that reaches to the heaven, so that we may make a name for ourselves. Otherwise, we will be scattered over the face of the whole earth. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we want to construct our lives in you and with you. We ask, Lord, that any decision, any plans that we make, may we always present them before you. And that you may be our strength. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Those who built the Tower of Babel wanted to ascend to heaven, but God descended and put an end to their project by confusing their language. Why? God confused their language because those who were building the tower were disobeying the divine command to spread out over the earth. Be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth had been God's command to Noah after the flood. But those in the plain of Shinar had other plans in mind. To found a monarchy that should eventually embrace the whole earth, according to Patriarchs and Prophets, chapter 10, page 118. There was also another reason to make them abandon the work. The tower would not be a monument to God's name, but to human pride. Let us build ourselves a city with a tower that reaches to the heavens so that we may make a name for ourselves. Genesis chapter 11 verse 4. They reasoned. The magnificent tower, says patriarchs and prophets, was intended to stand as a monument of the power and wisdom of its builders, perpetuating their fame to the latest generation. No wonder God thwart their project. What they thought would be a monument to human power ended up being a monument to stupidity. God not only confused their language, but also scattered them from there over the whole earth. In other words, God's original purpose to populate the earth was carried out anyway, but not before first destroying the builder's attempt to seek glory apart from God. Is there a lesson in this for us? Absolutely. As I write these words, I cannot help but to wonder, is there a tower I'm building in my life, perhaps without even realizing it? Whose glory am I seeking? Of course, there is nothing wrong with, for instance, obtaining an academic degree, buying a beautiful house, being promoted at work. But if the goal is to call people's attention to yourself, your achievement, you are certainly building a tower. Not for the glory of God, but for your own glory. And if that is the case, in the end, all the effort will end in shame because only God is worthy of praise. One more thing. We do not need a tower to go up to heaven. It is enough for him who descended from heaven to live in our hearts to save us. Will you and I open the door to him today? Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, May Jesus' love flood our hearts today so that our self-worth will be built not based on who we are or what we have, but based on who you are. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. We pray that you are blessed. May God's love embrace you and his presence be with you throughout this day. We look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Bye.